Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this triangle ABC, as you can see, such that this length AB is 18 and this length BC is 30. And moreover, this angle A is twice as much as of this angle C. And here one more thing, I just want to make it clear that our figure may not be 100% true to the scale. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect this point B and point D somewhere here on this line segment AC such that if we connect these one, this triangle this ABD is an isosceles triangle and here's our much nicer looking diagram and since this ABD is an isosceles triangle that means this side is going to be equal to this side if this is 18 this is going to be 18 as well and if this angle is 2x then this angle D is going to be 2x as well and now let's focus on this triangle BCD and we can see that this angle D is an exterior angle and here's an exterior angle theorem the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles and here in this illustration this angle X is an exterior angle which is equal to the sum of these opposite interior angles alpha and beta. So let's go ahead and apply this theorem to our this problem. So that means this angle has got to be x because the sum of these two interior angle must be equal to this exterior angle which is 2x. And now we can see that this triangle BCD is an isosceles triangle because this angle is same as this angle. So that means this side, if it is 18, then this side must be 18 as well. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw an altitude, a perpendicular by connecting this point B with the some point E somewhere on this line segment AD. Let's go ahead and drop this perpendicular. That means 90 degree angle. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And as a result, we got this shaded right triangles BEA and another triangle, the right triangles BEC. And we will just focus on these two right triangles one at a time. Now let's focus on these two right triangles BEA and BED. We know that these angles are 90 degree angle. This is two X same angles. So that means this angle has got to be same as well. So therefore, these two triangles are congruent triangles according to angle, angle, angle theorem. Therefore, we conclude that this side length AE is equal to this side length ED. Let me call this side length an A, then this is going to become A as well. And in this next step, let's focus on this triangle BEA. And we know that this is a right triangle. Therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and take call this one line AE, line segment AE. I'm going to call A and this perpendicular I am going to call B which is H and this longest leg I am going to call this one C and here's our Pythagorean formula let's go ahead and fill in the blanks we're going to put down A square plus B in our case is H so this H square and C is 18 square now let's go ahead and simplify that thing A square plus H square equal to 
324. Let's isolate h square. Let's move this a square on the other side. So h square is going to be equal to 324 minus a square. And I'm going to call this equation as number 1. Now let's focus on this triangle BEC as we can see that this total length of this EC is going to be A plus 18. So that means we can write A plus 18. And we know that this triangle is a right triangle. Therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. A square plus B square equal to C square. And in this triangle, I am going to call this A plus 18 is going to be our A. This is going to be our B. This height H is going to be B. And this our longest leg, this 30 is going to be our C. And here's our Pythagorean formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. A in our case is A plus 18 square and B in our case is H. So H square equal to C in our case is 30 square. So let's go ahead and isolate H square. So I'm going to move this term on the other side. So H square is going to be 30 square minus A plus 18 and then square. Now let's go ahead and simplify this thing. So h square equal to 30 square is 900 and then minus. And we can see this binomial. We're going to expand it by using this formula a plus b square. Let's go ahead and do that thing. If we apply that one, it's going to give us a square plus 36a plus 18 square is going to be 324. So let's go ahead and take care of furthermore 900 and let's open up this bracket that's going to give us negative a square minus 36 a minus 324 and that is when we combine the like terms that is going to give us 576 minus a square minus 36 a which is h square. Let me go ahead and call this equation as number 2. Now let's go ahead and compare these equations 1 and 2. So we can go ahead and equate these right hand side. This right hand side is there and this right hand side we have put it equal to. Let's go ahead and simplify this then we can see that this negative a square and this negative a square crosses out. Let's go ahead and move this negative 36a on the other side become positive 36a and at the same time I'm going to move this 324 on the other side. So this is equal to 576 minus 324 and after all these calculations our a value turns out to be 7. Now let's look at this side length AC that is equal to line segment AE plus ED plus DC. So AC is going to become simply AE is 7 plus ED is 7 as well and DC is 18. And if we put everything together that is going to give us 32. And we can see that this AC is nothing more than just the base of this triangle ABC. Just keep in your mind. Now let's go ahead and calculate the height H of this triangle. And here is our equation 1 H square equal to 324 minus A square. Let me just go ahead and replace A by 7. So this is going to become H square equal to 324 minus 7 square. Let's simplify furthermore. So 324 minus 49. So h square turns out to be 275. Now let's take the square root on both sides to undo this square. So this h, this h square and 
This cancels out, so h turns out to be square root of 275. Or h could be written as 5 times square root of 11 by just simplifying over here as you can see. So thus our h is this value. And here's our final step. We found out the base of this triangle ABC is 32 and the height of this triangle is 5 times the square root of 11. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle ABC. Here's the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base time height. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So area equal to a half time base is 32 and the height is 5 times square root of 11. So the area turns out to be 80 times square root of 11. So thus the area of this triangle ABC turns out to be 80 times square root of 11 or in terms of decimal it's approximately equal to 265.33 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.